I'm going to start here at the beginning by just allowing the slow process of starting a watercolor to lead us. Usually in my videos I speed up this part of my work, but I really want you to see how slow I actually go. At the beginning of a watercolor, I'm just laying a little bit of water onto the paper as a way of priming it so that when I hit it with a little bit of color, it absorbs it, it takes it and lets it move. I'm not by trade a watercolorist, so I use this mostly as a way to release perfectionism and to allow the happy mistakes and the sort of subtle intricacies of the pigment and the water to, to do their magic. I also consider watercolor a kind of meditation. Uh, so I use it as a creative process, but I also use it as a way to uh, mentally ground myself and a way to notice what I'm feeling. I also happen to really love the clinking sounds of the paintbrush on the water jar. I love the sound of the, the bristles sweeping across the watercolor paper. There's an entire sensory experience that's happening with watercolors that I find really delicious and enjoyable and quite pleasurable. When I'm working with watercolor and I have a horizon line, as we do here with our seascape, that's the line where the water begins and the sky ends, I like to leave a little open line just to begin so that I don't have my paints bleeding over into the other at first. This may be something you want to have happen, and that's great. You can just keep your water um, solid all the way through. But for me, uh, in this first layer, I like to keep a separation between my upper and lower horizons. Now, if you like, this can be the end of the painting. You can just have this beautiful color wash that happens on your page. You've started at the top, you've worked your way down, you have your horizon line, there's a gradation of color and of texture, and uh, some happy accidents with how the paint bled out. Um, so this could be where I finish and where I end, but, uh, I am usually an artist who does more than I should, <laughs> and so we're going to continue on here and I will speed up the painting from here on out. Here I come in with a little bit of splatter technique just to uh, let that turquoise paint fall wherever it's going to, and then I incorporate it in. This is the beauty of watercolors. If you don't love something, you can kind of move it around or press it back into the paper. Now I'm coming back to my horizon line with that deep turquoise. The ocean this day happened to have a really nice dark line at the top, and you'll notice when you look at any ocean horizon line, you're gonna have a darker, deeper, saturated color right at the horizon line than you're gonna have anywhere else. Again, at any point in this painting process, I could stop. I could just say, you know what? Great, I've got my darkened horizon line and I'm finished. But for my purposes, uh, the ocean that I happen to be looking at is at the mouth of the Columbia River, and there are um, some really beautiful pine-covered uh, jutting peninsulas on the edge of my skyline. So I am gonna go ahead and create a little tiny bit of land mass and add pine trees to this painting.
The small strokes that I'm making here with my smaller paintbrush are just suggestive. I'm not trying to create anything that looks realistic. Truly, I have pretty bad eyesight, and as I'm looking out at this seascape, the pine trees aren't very distinct for me in my eye, so I'm actually painting kind of what I see, but it's very loose and it's suggestive, not realistic. But of course, anyone who looks at this is going to go, oh, that's a peninsula covered with conifers. <laughs> now I'm going to do the same on the other side, which is the Washington side of the Columbia River, if the other was the Oregon side. You'll notice that the paint is still wet here, and so it's taking the paint that I'm applying and sort of sucking it into the ocean part of the painting. Now, that was kind of unintended. I didn't realize it was still wet, but here we go. <laughs> These are the happy mistakes. Again, it's super abstract. It's nothing that is um, perfect or realistic, but here's the painting completed. <laughs> 